Lolly, and I'm so excited to be working on my planner for 2020 using Elizabeth Craft Designs Planner Essentials. I'm using the Champagne Planner, which got the really pretty uh, interior, and I'm using Graphic 45 Bloom Collection, which looks like this. And I have just been taking uh, pink, ivory, and this olive green cardstock that I had in my stash. I used the dies from Planner Essentials 1, 2, and 3. That's 1, 2, and 3 have the tabbed dividers. So I did that, and then I flipped the dies. Oh, well, not the, I flipped the paper over. I did it again and flipped the paper over. So you see I have here, I have January through June. Then I have July through December right there. Those would be my tabs. So let's look at one at a time here. And I thought, given the size here, that I could cut uh, interior paper at eight by four and a half so that it would leave a pink border all the way around. I really have not been sure whether I wanted to um, distress anything and I think I do. So let's play around with that. I'm just doing it lightly. I'm not doing a really heavy, heavy uh, distressing on that. The cardstock I had gotten at Tuesday morning. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. I do want to add a little bit here. So after I put this on, I will have to repunch the holes. And I did think that one of the things I could do was actually make it a pocket. You know how I love pockets. I could just glue the sides and have it a pocket this way. Don't know. I still might do that. Um, we'll see. So let's turn this over. I'm going to use the half inch advanced tape glider. I like to take my... Um, fine tip applicator here when I don't get very close to the edge like I see I didn't here and I just kind of fill in the gaps okay now all I have to do is punch those holes again and I do have um, I could do it one of two ways I could use the same die that I did for that and run it through again or she also has just the just the border strip here, I'll find it. This one here, which is in Planner Essentials 5, this one here, which I would I think it would be a lot easier. All I have to do is line it up right here and run it through my die cutting machine. And it's perfect. Great job. Again, that one is in Planner Essentials 5. I'll set that aside. Okay, the other thing I did was I used the pocket from Planner Pocket 1, and I cut out, in my die cutting machine, I cut that out. So this is what that looks like. I'm going to fold this over and burnish. Now, get that back. I'm actually going to glue this part down here the part with the holes. Now, well, that's going to be really pretty. However, I can tell, sorry, I can tell that this needs to be edged. And this is one of the reasons that I did decide to go ahead and distress the edges was that it's very difficult sometimes to see the transition between papers. And I think this really helps to give it a little lift so that you can see that a little better. It makes it more pronounced. Okay, so now to glue the back here. I'm more worried about lining the holes than I am lining up the sides of this paper here. Now you see it's very busy. That's why I wanted to add that right there. But the other thing is I have gone ahead and punched out some hole reinforcers using her hole reinforcement die set and um, this is in my shop I am trying to work on keeping it in stock they're very hard to get a hold of right now so they're very helpful I backed my paper up with 
adhe self adhesive uh, sheets. And so all I have to do is peel the back. And if I want, I can do some distressing around there. I don't think I will. And I have plenty of paper here. I do not need to reinforce these holes. This is purely for aesthetics. It's just because it's pretty. Now I'm noticing that these, um, the holes are also self-adhesive. So I could use those and add them in my pattern here somewhere like that. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. I think I will go all the way up with that. There are six, I think in this one with the flowers, they're all different numbers depending on how well they can fit them on the, um, on the die. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so that is the front of January. And I love that it has that pocket. You can turn this over and see what we want to do with this side. And I do want to get another paper uh, on here or just something decorative. So I do like, this is in Planner Essentials 5. And it's like a photo frame, and you can see where it's, it fits in there, right like that. Okay. So I'm looking through the papers. And I used this, and the back of that is adorable, too. Look at that stripe. But I want something contrasting, I think, this time. So I think I'll do this one. Okay, so... This, it's actually a two-piece set. It does the background like this, and it does the frame. You can use it just this way, or you can use it with this, or you can use just this. So I thought this would be really cute to go ahead and make a photo frame like that. And I'll just glue the sides and leave the top open so that I can slide a photo down in there. And it also punches out the center of this, which I can use for something else. I think I'll glue this together and then I'll distress it because I think it would be easier to distress it except, actually I'll do it this way. Probably need to get that top done. Okay. Very cute, and this would be a really good pocket, a card for one of the pockets. So this will go this way. Okay. And another die that's in the same uh, Planner Essentials 5 that this came in is this little piece here, which could be whatever you want it to be. Um, I just think it'd be really cute to come off here and be like a label or something. Let me look at my uh, papers. Uh, this would be great either way, like this way or this way. But I think it'd be great for like a banner across the top or the bottom about maybe something that's going on that day or that month. This would be a good way to maybe um, title a list for that month. I like to have a page where I can write down notes for that month, so this might be a great opportunity for that. Or do I like the green? I like them both. Okay, I don't know. I like them both. Alrighty. Now, um, it helps to get these. If you want to keep these in the way that they came, put them back on their sets before they get completely lost. Okay, the other thing is, I wanted to get these out for this side here. See if that fits well, or do I need to do a smaller one on this side? Oh, great! I love this. So that's going to go in there. Ah, this will fit. Just I didn't get it in there the right way first time. So that fits in there perfectly. Let's do that. 
and these will be used for the smaller pockets. I'm going to put these together. And that is January right there. Very cute. And I could also put hole reinforcers on the other side if I wanted to, like here. You know, I don't have to do hole reinforcers everywhere. Uh, it does add more bulk. I also want to be able to put the month names on here. And you see, it's they're not very tall, so I don't have that much room. And so I have the Brother P Touch. I'm going to clear this out. And I'm wondering, I can change the size of the font, but another way to do it is to do two lines. So if I do January, and then I do February with the next one, that's two lines, and hit the print, one copy. Cut. Where's the here? And just turn that off. Let's see if that's about, it is just perfect. So I'm going to do this. It did waste a little bit but it beforehand, but it doesn't waste it afterwards. This makes the print just the right size. There we go. And now I need to put this one on the February before I get too far ahead of myself. Okay, that was just a test. So I don't really have to put my my month names on here until I go. As I go along, I think I would prefer to do that. So let's go ahead and get this in here. And that is what I'm going to see when I open up my planner. And I think it's a really good first page in there. Very cute. Okay, now I will pro most likely be doing these pages a little faster from here on in. I wanted to take my time and explain what I was doing. And then from now on, get several months done all at once and probably speed the process up. I will explain which items I am using from which die sets. I don't have all the die sets, but this is very helpful for me. And then as I put in my month blank month calendar pages and my note pages, I'll explain where I'm getting all of those supplies from as well. So thank you for watching. Make sure you look down below. I will give you the link to some supplies for this. And I hope you are going to enjoy this process with me as we look forward to 2020.